What's going on guys? My first instinct here with another video. In today's video, I uh, tried to play mouse and keyboard on console. So if you guys didn't know, there's these adapters that exist out there that allow you to kind of plug a controller into it and then plug in a mouse and keyboard. And then it, it translates inputs from the mouse and keyboard to the controller to then send to your, your Xbox or your PS4 or whatever you choose. This one right here only costs $30. I got it a while ago. Um, it's called the iFook K Max One. I know, just some interesting name, but it's a uh, it's just this simple little dongle, super easy, super cheap. Um, and what's going on here is there's four USB ports right there in which you can plug in your stuff. Doesn't make any sense. One for your controller, one for your keyboard, and one for your mouse. That's three. Why do you need four? I really don't know. It didn't have an answer for that one. Uh, and then there's one USB that then goes into your console of choosing. Um, so this one's not a professional one. You can't like, like there's no programming. There's no software that you can do with this. Um, but it does come with a pamphlet, and the pamphlet tells you um, how to set up your your consoles of choosing, but then also the buttons in which goes with it. So you open up the pamphlet, um, there's tons of instructions, but then there's also a bunch of Japanese and other Asian country uh, instructions. You know, as expected, this uh, is not a American product. Um, from there, it works with pretty much every console, except for the Soldier Boy console, which uh, hopefully they can do that soon, because I know that everyone wants that. Uh, but it works with the Nintendo Switch, uh, works with the uh, PS3, the PS4, the xbox one and that looks like it's it there's no xbox 360 i thought that there was um i haven't experimented with that uh but that's that's still really cool that you can do that uh and before we actually go into this i know that um console gaming with a mouse and keyboard is kind of cheating it's kind of rude because you are more accurate with a mouse you've got your whole arm you've got your whole hand of movement instead of your just one thumb uh, so it's not an affair advantage. So what I did in this video was I, I jumped on one of my old accounts um, that you can just do for free, and I played uh, a game of a game or two of Apex in hopes just to not not like upgrade my stats or anything, but just just to play this and show you guys what it is like. The keyboard that I use for my typing, my internet browsing, my gaming on my PC, all that stuff is a Razer Black Widow. And I just didn't want to like remap my cords or anything like that for the video. So I just um, grabbed one of the keyboards that we had on the side. And one of the extra keyboards that we have laying around my house is this uh, Corsair K70. Um, and it's just another mechanical gaming keyboard. And I thought that this would work, but this has a weird feature. And same thing with my Black Widow where there's actually two USB uh, ports that you then plug into your PC. What you then do with that is there's an extra USB on the side of your keyboard that is basically a direct line to your PC. So it's just a lot easier to access that type of stuff. So I was trying to use that and it wasn't working. The key inputs just weren't working. I even plugged in the extra USB into the extra slot on the, uh, the, the adapter. It just didn't work out. But luckily my brother also had a cheap mechanical keyboard. I don't even know. This is a Keytronic. It's just some like, you know, old Dell type computer, like the freaking gateway cow type of computer keyboard. It's super cheap. It's just, uh, it's like a membrane mechanical keyboard. Either way, I actually really enjoyed using it, but this is the, this is the keyboard I am using in the video. Mouse that I use, which I've shown in my stream setup um, video, which I will have linked down below, is uh, the Razer Naga. Um, so this is just an extra mouse that I kind of have uh, lying around. It's a lot easier for me to remap the cable, and that's why I chose to use this mouse rather than my Logitech G203. But uh, this has 12 extra buttons on the side of it. I didn't actually use any of the buttons in the video. Uh, the only two buttons that we used in the video were the uh, left click and right click. Of course, I was using a mouse pad, which is a uh, Razer mouse pad. To be honest, I don't remember the name of this one, but uh, it's one of their uh, medium sized mouse pads. Uh, as a lot of you guys know me as, as I'm just a console gaming uh, person, I normally play with my hand in the claw position. For you guys that don't know what that is, uh, it means that my hand is in this position right here um, while gaming. And so that's just the way I game. That's how I do, is so I can jump and, mo and move around while still looking. Uh, I am naturally a console gamer. I do own a beautiful PC in which I have gamed uh, PC games on. So coming from this, um, this adapter works. It really does work. Um, as you can, as you'll see in the video, it works. 
but it's not as steady as a mouse and keyboard on your PC, straight up. Uh, but then also, I personally prefer a controller. I feel a lot more confident, a lot more comfortable with the controller, so that's what I choose to do instead. But enough talking and letting you guys know what type of stuff I'm using in this video. Um, I'm just going to jump into the video and explain to you guys. I'm going to first show you guys uh, some settings I was playing around with, and then we'll get into the games. Uh, I only played two, but ended up winning and getting actually a pretty good win considering the, all the, the, the things, all the, the mouse and keyboard and that type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump into this. <clears throat> all right, so currently the things I've done was I sign into my um, secondary account here um, that I chose to sign in on. Uh, and then I went over to controller and the thing that we really want to play around with is advanced look controls That's what we want to like kind of spend the most time in like figuring out what we're gonna do with this so uh, Clicked on that and what I've done so far is turn off um, Dead zone. Uh, I left this outer threshold at normal, but uh, I turned off the dead zone um, And then I also made this response curve um a, a straight line because right here is where it's um, where it's at uh, at default where it kind of s is slow and then goes up um, so I made it just one continuous straight line uh, because I feel like that's how the uh, the mouse works uh, and the target conversation which I think is aim assist I turn that off um, and then the other stuff I've tr like played around with was um, I turn off extra yaw which is like when your when your thumbstick is at the maximum like all the way to the right um it'll like ramp up or like it'll go extra speed that way so i turned that off um for ads and for regular uh and so we're gonna test that but before we test that i wanted to make sure that the button layout was um set up correctly that i would like it to be so right here i have a uh a kind of map of what controller input is for the keyboard so I was like all right um, hopefully we can uh, get this to work um, yeah that's pretty much where we're at um, I'm trying to think of I'm trying to I'm gonna like match a controller preset and then I might go into my um, personal settings and change some button inputs as well so uh, yeah we'll figure it out so it looks fine. So I'm gonna switch to X and Y. Switch right bumper is in. Switch right and left bumper. A X E E. So we're gonna do this. Only thing. And Q. And one. We're just gonna make X actually go away. We're just gonna make X actually go away. We're just gonna change. Yeah, there. We're gonna change. There we go. Nothing else. So we got this. Just not bad. And the second one is gonna be far. Alright, so this is the same for the same role. Everything is the same. So we're just going to go past, then from there, safely out, so we're going to And then we have ALS on which is, and if we're going to be able to get to the same, all that stuff is disabled. We're going to test these, but we're going to test it there. Okay, good. We're on training, which is good. The Y button is R, so if we press R, readies us up. Alright, so we're, we are going to be doing a lot of trialing and erroring, error, erroring with, uh, with the, uh, like pitch and yaw and all that stuff, Welcome but to um, Legends. I am yeah. So you right now, Let us begin with basic the look movement. actually feels Complete pretty good compared to what I'm used to. It feels uh pretty uh I don't know how to say it, but like very jittery. All right, so one thing that it has fixed is uh, kind of small movements. No, it hasn't really fixed it. So small movements move very, like it moves a lot, but then fast movements barely move at all. So you guys can't see it, but you might be able to hear it. Um, here, I wonder if I can try to show my arm, but basically I'm gonna slowly move the mouse and I do about a 180 across my entire mouse pad right about now but if I were to quickly move my mouse like I just did it just I moved the mouse across the entire mouse pad and it just went 
barely at all. I have an idea. There's a honestly this uh these settings are pretty difficult. So here's me moving it in circles a lot. Like fast and a lot. Let's try this. So we're gonna wanna go down to ACO. Okay, what's one? Three is left. That, and then conversation off. So that turns off aim assist. So this is the default settings in which you can play. What if we were to just turn this stuff off, actually? What if we were to go in here, do off, and then now we get to actually customize this. Linear. If I look really quickly, it barely moves the mouse at all. It's like small, tiny adjustments. Move it so quickly, and I don't, I don't understand why that is. Um, sensitivity feels too high, though. Let's put it at like two. Honestly, this feels uh, pretty playable. Yeah, it feels pretty playable. I think that we can get it to work. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into some games and uh, see what we can do. All right, so here we are. We are done with the training, which means that we can then uh, go into play Apex. Like I said, we're not gonna play anyone too fancy. Um, like we're not going to play like Wraith or Pathfinder, probably Bangalore, like the super aggressive ones. We'll probably play more Lifeline than anything. To uh, this next building first. Oh, I kind of forgot to change my FOV, which I do in my other game. Uh, even on PC, I changed my FOV. I should probably do that sooner than later. Okay. Looking at precise things is harder than I thought it would be. Um... Once again, mouse feels. I think if I just, yeah, okay, we'll figure that out. Um, I'm gonna quickly change my FOB. Um, where is it? Video, yeah. And then there we go. Attention. Uh, like going to want to. Uh... Go out and bamboozle them. When I zoom in, it feels just so slow. I might need to up it a little bit. Um, let's go. Uh oh. Okay. Come on, teammate, to actually help. Slide. Oh, oh, let's change weapons. Turning around is hard. Okay. Let's, let's ping him for our teammates. So, <laughs> this is first game, which I'm not expecting anything too major. It's, turning around is not. Okay, good job, teammate. We're instantly going to drop our health drone. So moving around and everything feels pretty fine. It's it's the looking like sometimes I just have to like adjust. Like my first initial look normally is botched and like not that good, but then after that, like after I adjust and kind of remember what type of mouse we're playing with or what type of settings we're playing with, then I do pretty well. It's just the matter. Oh no, this isn't good. Okay. Honestly, 
That right there wasn't that bad. How do we leave this? Honestly, the that last part of shooting him wasn't that bad. He just he had purple armor and was able to just melt me with whatever weapon he had. I don't even know. We got a pack. Let's go see what we can get with this pack. Three different blues. Oh boy. Better equip it. It's just, it feels weird for a lot of reasons. Number one, the mouse input isn't accurate, but then also, it's like I, uh, like, remapped a ton of buttons, which no one likes to do. So, uh, yeah. And I'm, uh, dead right about here. I say that we go this way, team. I just remembered, I got a kill. And it was with the Mozambique. Our teammates did get the short end of the stick when it came to the looting, that's for sure. And that. Now we have... Making contact with enemy. Okay. Another knock. I'm gonna go for that revive. And we got our drone for our teammate. We're doing all right. I don't like it, team. Uh oh. <laughs> that was pretty good. Let's uh change weapons real quick. Where did my team go? I don't know. Dang it, there's another team here. And they're thirsting for whatever reason. I've never played with someone this bad. This this person's really bad. They they picked up the guy I uh, killed though. That's not good. This aiming is ridiculous. Like, look at this. This is me quickly moving my mouse. Look at how little I'm moving. But then this is also me slowly moving the mouse. It's like doing nothing. That while you're knocked down, it's it's next level impossible. What do I have in my inventory for healing? I know tiny movements do like a ton. If I quickly move it, that barely moved at all. Look. Tiny movements. Like slow, tiny movements. And then one big quick. It like didn't even move the reticle. We're all inside the ring. Good. And this mouse is fine. This mouse is good. Yeah, my teammate's not even uh last game. Oh, on us. Squad wiped! Not really. It's hard to like compensate for recoil. I press control thinking that would slide. Um, yep, got the news. You don't slide. Um, let's do a battery. Um, we do have, we do have aim assist right now, so it does, I think, help it jitter less. It doesn't really help you aim, but it just helps you jitter less, which is really nice. Far or close? He's close, isn't he? Reloading. Enemy down. Reloading. Taking them Reloading. And... Listen up, I'm 
Nice. I would say that I did a lot of work right there. Guess what, bud? I want your armor. Nothing but ammo and a couple meds and we're good to go. And I've been getting them assists. I totally canceled that. We did it! We won a game! Got the achievement? You are the Apex Champions. Six kills with 1100 damage! I'm proud of that. That was really good. We got, a, we got two packs. Tupac, if you will. Okay. Yeah, there we go. It took us two games, I believe. I'll be able to justify that later, I think. But yeah, just uh, here, I can just check it actually right here. So we're going to go here, uh, there, tracker two, and then we're looking for games played. Where is it? Games played two. Two games. And got the win. Win with full squad alive also, mind you. That was really dope. Well, um, so this thing, this adapter costs $30 on Amazon. And I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Um, I don't have any personal experience with like the Zim or anything like that. But it's just mouse and keyboard on console just doesn't really work. If you seriously do want to do mouse and keyboard, you can make a PC pretty cheap nowadays. Um, there's videos all over the internet and I recently saw one where people were buying used parts on eBay and actually building a PC and they saved, they built a thousand dollar PC and they saved 200 bucks. So they actually spent about 750, uh, they saved like 250. So there's ways of making cheap computers out there. And I would recommend that way over any of this. This is a mechanical keyboard. This is a very old keyboard. You can't really see it, but like this is an old keyboard. I just used it out of convenience. And then this mouse right here is extremely optional, but yeah, you can get cheap stuff out there. And I would just recommend doing that over getting a $130 adapter. Although that is cheaper, it's just, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't work out the same. Uh, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my takeaway. My, my initial takeaway from all that. All right, guys, that was the video. I had a lot of fun playing on the mouse and keyboard. I don't know if you could tell by how excited I get, got with that win. I always enjoy playing mouse and keyboard. It's just uh, I don't do it very often on my own PC. Anyways, guys, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It'd be much appreciated. Comment anything down below and subscribe to see future content by myself. Down in the description, I've got um, lots of links, but uh, the main one that I would like you guys to go check out is my Twitch. I stream on there practically daily, so go check me out on that. And then also I uh, have a Discord link as the second link. So that's just a little community that we're trying to grow right now. So if you guys are on Discord, come hang out. It'll be a lot of fun. There's like a meme page, there's a suggestion page, and there's a couple other things. So uh, yeah, come check those out. Be much appreciated. This is my first instinct. Saying peace.